causality theorem. By using the properties of areas of triangles, we are going to study basic proportionality theorem. So, we will revise these properties once again. We have learned that the ratio of areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of the products of a base and its corresponding height. Consequently, we get three more properties. Can you tell me these properties? Yes. The first one is about the triangles having equal height. It states that the ratio of areas of two triangles having equal height is equal to the ratio of their corresponding bases. The second one states that the ratio of the areas of two triangles having equal base is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights. And the third is the areas of two triangles having equal base and equal height are equal. After the recapitulation, now we will first see the statement of basic proportionality theorem. The theorem states, If a line parallel to a side of a triangle intersects other sides in two distinct points, then the line divides those sides in proportion. So, it is given that in triangle PQR, line L is parallel to side QR. Line L intersects side PQ and side PR in points M and N respectively such that point M lies between points P and Q and point N lies between points P and R. We have to prove that PM upon QM is equal to PN upon RN that is line L divides side PQ and side PR in proportion. Here, we will do a construction. Join segment QN and segment RM. Now, we will start with the proof. Consider triangle PMN and triangle QMN where point M lies between points P and Q. These two triangles have equal height. Therefore, Area of triangle PMN upon the area of triangle QMN is equal to PM upon QM. In triangle PMN and triangle RMN, where point N lies between points P and R, the height of both these triangles is same. Hence, the area of triangle PMN upon the area of triangle RMN is equal to Pn upon Rn. In the figure, we can see that the triangle QMN and triangle RMN have a common base Mn and are of the same height. Therefore, their areas are equal. That is, the area of triangle QMN is equal to the area of triangle RMN. Thus, we can say that the area of triangle PMN upon the area of triangle QMN is equal to area of triangle PMN upon the area of triangle RMN. But the area of triangle PMN upon the area of triangle QMN is equal to PM upon QM and the area of triangle PMN upon the area of triangle RMN is equal to Pn upon Rn. Therefore, Pm upon Qm is equal to Pn upon Rn. Hence, the theorem is proved. We will try to solve one example based on basic proportionality theorem. Example Find the value of x in the following figure if line L is parallel to side BC. Let's find the solution. In triangle BAC, line L is parallel to side BC. 
line L intersects side AB in point P and side AC in point Y such that point P lies between points A and B and point Y lies between points A and C. By basic proportionality theorem, we know that if a line parallel to one side of a triangle intersects the other two sides in two distinct points, then it divides these sides proportionally. Therefore, AP upon PB is equal to AY upon YC. Substituting the values we get, 3 upon 6 is equal to 5 upon X. By solving, we get X is equal to 10. Hence, the answer value of X is 10. Two, converse of basic proportionality theorem. Now, we will discuss the converse of basic proportionality theorem. It says that, if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then the line is parallel to the third side. It is given that the line L intersects the side PQ and the side PR of triangle PQR in the points M and N respectively such that PM upon MQ is equal to PN upon NR. We have to prove that line L is parallel to side QR. Here, to prove this converse, we will make use of the indirect method. That is, let us suppose that line L is not parallel to the side QR. Then, there must be another line passing through point M which is parallel to side QR. So, let line MK be that line which intersects side PR in the point K such that point N lies between the points K and R. Now in triangle PQR, line MK is parallel to side QR. Therefore, by basic proportionality theorem, PM upon MQ is equal to PK upon KR. But it is given that PM upon MQ is equal to PN upon NR. That means PK upon KR is equal to PN upon NR. By componendo, we get PK plus KR upon KR is equal to PN plus NR upon NR. Since points K and N lie between the points P and R, we get PR upon KR is equal to PR upon NR. Therefore, KR is equal to NR. That is, the points K and N are not different points. Therefore, the line MN and the line MK coincide. Therefore, line MN is parallel to side QR that is, line L is parallel to side QR. Hence, the converse of basic proportionality theorem is proved. Example E and F are the points on the sides PQ and PR of triangle PQR respectively. For each of the following cases, state whether EF is parallel to QR. 1. PE is equal to 3.9 cm. EQ is equal to 1.3 cm. PF is equal to 3.6 cm. And FR is equal to 2.4 cm. 2. PE is equal to 4 cm. QE is equal to 4.5 cm. PF is equal to 8 cm and RF is equal to 9 cm. 3. PQ is equal to 1.28 cm. PR is equal to 2.56 cm. PE is equal to 0.18 cm. And PF is equal to 0.36 cm. In the first case, it is given that PE is equal to 3.9 cm. 
EQ is equal to 1.3 centimeters, PF is equal to 3.6 centimeters, and FR is equal to 2.4 centimeters. First, we will draw the figure showing the given information. Then, we will find the ratio of PE to EQ and ratio of PF and FR. If these ratios are equal, then by applying the converse of basic proportionality theorem, we can determine that EF is parallel to QR. Substituting the values of PE, which is 3.9 cm, and EQ equal to 1.3 cm, let's find the ratio PE upon EQ. So, PE upon EQ is equal to 3.9 cm upon 1.3 cm, which is equal to 3 upon 1. Next, we will find the ratio of PF to FR by substituting given values. So, PF upon FR is equal to 3.6 upon 2.4. The answer we get is 3 upon 2. By comparing these two answers, we find that these ratios are not equal. Hence, EF is not parallel to QR. We will follow the similar procedure for the next case. Draw the diagram. Find the ratio by substituting the values. Compare the results and determine whether EF is parallel to QR or not. Here, PE is equal to 4 cm. QE is 4.5 cm. PF is 8 cm. And RF is 9 cm. So, the ratio of PE to QE is 4 upon 4.5, which is equal to 8 upon 9. The ratio of PF to RF is also 8 upon 9. Therefore, PE upon QE is equal to PF upon RF is equal to 8 upon 9. Since these two ratios are equal by converse of basic proportionality theorem, we can say that EF is parallel to QR. In the third case, first, we will draw the diagram showing PQ is 1.28 cm, PR is 2.56 cm, PE is 0.18 cm, and PF is 0.36 cm. Then, we will have to calculate the values of EQ and FR. The point E lies between the points P and Q. Therefore, PE plus EQ is equal to PQ. Substituting the values of PE and PQ, we get the value of EQ which is 1.1. Similarly, the point F lies between the points P and R. Therefore, PF plus FR is equal to PR. Substituting and solving, we get FR is equal to 2.2. Now, we will find the ratio of PE to EQ, which is 0 0.18 upon 1.1, equal to 9 upon 55. Now, the ratio PF upon FR is equal to 0 0.36 upon 2.2 which is also 9 upon 55. Both the ratios are equal. Thus, by converse of basic proportionality theorem, it is clear that EF is parallel to QR. Applications of basic proportionality theorem Let us learn two properties that are based on the basic proportionality theorem. The first property is about the intercepts made by three parallel lines and the second property is about the angle bisector of a triangle. First, we will discuss the property of intercepts made on a transversal by three parallel lines. The property is the ratio of the intercepts made on a transversal by three parallel lines is equal to 
the ratio of the corresponding intercepts made on any transversal by the same parallel lines. It is given that line L, line M and line N are parallel to each other. Line X and line Y are the transversals. These transversals intersect line L, line M and line N in the points A, B, C and P, Q, R respectively. We have to prove that the ratio of the intercepts made on these transversals is equal. Here, the intercepts are AB, BC, PQ and QR. So, we have to prove that AB upon BC is equal to PQ upon QR. For that, we will do a construction. Draw segment AR which intersects line M at point H. Let's give the proof now. In the triangle ACR, segment BH is parallel to side CR. Therefore, by basic proportionality theorem, AB upon BC is equal to AH upon HR. Similarly, in triangle ARP, segment HQ is parallel to side AP. Therefore, HR upon AH is equal to QR upon PQ by basic proportionality theorem. By invertendo, we get AH upon HR is equal to PQ upon QR. But we have seen that AB upon BC is equal to AH upon HR. Therefore, AB upon BC is equal to PQ upon QR. Thus, we have proved the property of the intercepts made by three parallel lines. Let's use this property of intercepts made by three parallel lines to solve one example. Example As shown in the figure line L is parallel to line M is parallel to line N. Lines P and Q are the transversals. From the given information, find ST. Let's find the solution. Here, lines L, M and N are parallel to each other and lines P and Q are the transversals. Can you name the intercepts on transversal P? Yes, they are AB and BC. Similarly, RS and ST are the intercepts on transversal Q. By the property of intercepts made by three parallel lines, AB upon BC is equal to RS upon ST. Substituting the given values for AB, BC and RS, we get ST is equal to 12 into 10 upon 8. Therefore, ST is equal to 15. The second property is the property of an angle bisector of a triangle. In a triangle, the angle bisector divides the side opposite to the angle in the ratio of the remaining sides. In triangle ABC, ray CE bisects the angle ACB. The point E lies on side AB such that point E is between the points A and B. Because of this point E, side AB is divided into two segments, segment AE and segment EB. We have to prove that the ratio of these two segments, that is AE to EB, is equal to the ratio of the remaining two sides. In short, we have to prove that AE upon EB is equal to AC upon CB. We will do a construction here. Draw a line parallel to ray CE passing through point B. Let it intersect line AC at point D. Now the proof. 
line CE is parallel to line BD by construction and AD is the transversal. Therefore, the corresponding angles that is angle ACE and angle CDB are equal. Now taking BC as transversal, we have angle ECB is equal to angle CBD since they are alternate angles. But it is given that ray CE bisects the angle ACB which means angle ACE is equal to angle ECB. Therefore, from 1, 2 and 3 angle CBD is equal to angle CDB. Consider triangle CBD. In this triangle, side CB and side CD are the sides opposite to congruent angles. Therefore, they are congruent. Hence, CB is equal to CD. Now in triangle ABD, segment EC is parallel to side BD by construction. Therefore, by basic proportionality theorem, AE upon EB is equal to AC upon CD. Just now we have proved that CD is equal to CB. So, we can write CB in place of CD in the previous statement. Thus, we get AE upon EB is equal to AC upon CB. Hence, the angle bisector of a triangle divides the side opposite to the angle in the ratio of the remaining sides. Here's one problem based on the property of angle bisector. Example In the given figure, ray PT is the angle bisector of angle QPR. We have to find the value of X and also the perimeter of triangle PQR. Here, first we will find the value of x by using the angle bisector property of a triangle. In triangle PQR, ray PT is the angle bisector of angle QPR. Ray PT intersects opposite side QR at point T. We know that the angle bisector of a triangle divides the side opposite to the angle in the ratio of the remaining sides. Therefore, QT upon TR is equal to PQ upon PR. Substituting the values given for QT, which is 4 cm, TR equals to 5 cm, PQ, which is 3.6 cm, and PR equals to X, we get X is equal to 3.6 into 5 upon 4. So the value of X is 4.5. Next, we have to find the perimeter of a triangle PQR. The perimeter of a triangle is equal to the sum of all the three sides. So, let us see if we have the lengths of all the three sides. PQ is 3.6 centimeters. We have just found out PR is 4.5 centimeters. For QR, we have value of QT and RT. Since point T lies between points Q and R, QR is equal to QT plus TR, which is equal to 4 plus 5 equal to 9. Now the perimeter of triangle PQR is equal to PQ plus QR plus PR, that is equal to 3.6 plus 9 plus 4.5. Thus, the perimeter of triangle PQR is equal to 17.1 centimeters. It's time for activity now. Observe these given figures and apply the property of angle bisector studied earlier to them. For the figure 3, is the statement PS upon PQ equal to RQ upon SR true? 
solution. In figure 1, ray DF is the angle bisector of angle GDE. Therefore, by property of angle bisector, TG upon DE is equal to GF upon FE. In figure 2, ray YT is the angle bisector of angle XYZ. Therefore, Yx upon Yz is equal to Xt upon Tz. In figure 3, ray PR is the angle bisector of angle SPQ. Therefore, PS upon PQ is equal to SR upon RQ. Hence, the statement PS upon PQ is equal to RQ upon SR is not true. Here is one problem for us to solve. In the given figure, points A, B and C are on OP, OQ and OR respectively, such that AB is parallel to PQ and AC is parallel to PR. Then show that BC is parallel to QR. It is given that AB is parallel to PQ and AC is parallel to PR. We have to prove that BC is parallel to QR. If you observe the figure carefully, you will see that there are three triangles with vertex O. Consider triangle POQ. What do you find there? Yes, it is given that AB is parallel to PQ. Can we use any of the theorems of properties we have studied so far? Right. We can apply the basic proportionality theorem here. So since AB is parallel to PQ, OA upon PA is equal to OB upon QB by basic proportionality theorem. Similarly, we can see that in triangle OPR, AC is parallel to PR. So, here also by basic proportionality theorem, we can say that OA upon PA is equal to OC upon RC. From these two statements, we can conclude that OB upon QB is equal to OC upon RC. Therefore, by the converse of basic proportionality theorem, BC is parallel to QR. Example By using the converse of basic proportionality theorem, we have to prove that the line joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side. As we have to use this theorem here, we must think of the ratio of the segments formed by the midpoints of the two sides. So in triangle ABC, points M and N are the midpoints of sides AB and AC respectively. We have to prove that MN is parallel to BC. The converse of basic proportionality theorem states that if a line divides two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then the line is parallel to the third side. Let's give the proof now. Point M on side AB of triangle ABC divides AB in two segments, AM and MB. Since M is the midpoint of side AB, AM is equal to MB. Therefore, AM upon MB is equal to 1. Similarly, N is the midpoint of side AC. Hence, AN is equal to NC. Therefore, AN upon NC is equal to 1. Thus, we see that the ratio of AM to MB is equal to the ratio of AN to NC is equal to 1. So, by converse of basic proportionality theorem, MN is parallel to BC. Thus, the line joining midpoints of any two sides of a triangle 
is parallel to the third side. 